start recording here. So YouTube, this is a, a take on Zach Allen's Jeskai build. Um, it's it's more of a <clears throat> kind of like a gen deck, as I'd like to I think of it as. It's just kind of like tapping out for bombs on three, four, and five. Well, you know, while controlling the game early, trading well, and then just playing cards either replace themselves, two for ones, two for ones, two for ones, and, you know, just kind of out card people that way. So I'm a big fan of this deck. I played this in the mocks today, and that didn't go very well. But I think we're we'll going to give this a run through a couple leagues tonight. I'm already in a league, currently 2-0 and in a league. So let's see if I can jump, do well in it. <clears throat> So probably my last league playing uh, standard for a little bit as next weekend is modern at Star City Games Baltimore. So I'll have to uh, have to get ready for that. Though I have much less to work with than standard. Standard is much harder for me than modern than modern is. We gotta figure out a deck, gotta figure out some matchups. I'm starting to get there with this deck. Maybe another couple weeks and I'll be ready to go. I am a slow learner. Alright, I would like to play first. And yeah, this hand's great. You got a removal spell, a couple counter spells, something to get ahead in the late game. Um, lead off with this. Give me one second. Looks like we're either playing a mirror against red white. I would assume we're playing against the mirror as that came into play tapped. Like a snap off a search for his canter or something like that here, but that's not gonna happen. Um light total is not really gonna matter, so I'll just play this one to so I can pick and choose which counter spell I want to use. Sorry, I'm just texting my little brother. It's his birthday today. Whoop. Um, just in case we want to negate and then expansion to negate on like a search or a treasure map. Give ourselves that option. Yield through this turn. It's not good. First missed land drop of the match. <clears throat> oh, I should make sure my title is good. Title. Um, just guy control. Update. All right, play this tap. So now if my opponent jams a uh, a nev, we can minus on it. I yield through this turn. All right, gonna keep hitting land drops, which is good. So we're up to six. Our opponent's at six as well. They missed last turn. Let's let this go. I might have expansion that. Oh no, then I would have had a discard, but I could discard one of these horrible cards. I think I'm just gonna copy this.
So then I just have to discard two cards, which is kind of mopey. I'm not really excited about doing that. It's going to be interesting to determine when it's time to pick pick our spots. They're pitching lands. I don't really want to move as long as I keep hitting my land drops. So just going to pass. They have double counter spell up. Didn't flash back their insight. Their hand must be very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can just jam this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. They can play Teferi with a counter spell. We then can play Teferi with our own counter spell. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. They have double negate. Then we land our Teferi. I think I'm just going to jam. Well, I could wait one turn and then have the gate up. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that. I might copy a Chemist's Insight, even if I have to discard here. Uh, I think I just want to hit, make sure to hit my land. I'm not going to hit it this turn, but I can ditch like this and this. But if my opponent wants to burn a counter spell on this, that's okay as well. It's okay. Then I'll just ditch this, this. And I hit my own. Um, card draw spell as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My opponent can go Niv plus counter spell. Wow. I think we're getting a little lucky not to get We're going to counter this. We're going to syncopate it for two. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I can play Niv with Negate Up, which is going to at least draw me some cards. Because like if they play a Teferi, I'll fight over it. And then presumably, unless they have land, Teferi, one land, two Teferis, I draw two cards off this Nav. Our hand's pretty stacked. All right, can't fight over that. We'll try to we'll kill it on our turn. There's no sense tapping out here, especially if it doesn't appear like they're going to be able to get this Niv off the board. We appear like we're going to be in a pretty dominant spot here. Because, like, one of their better plays is just jamming their own Niv. I 
I should have played my land first. That was a mistake. We can even go to Fairy plus Negate. I don't think we're going to worry about that. We're just going to like... This is why Niv is just the be absolute best thing you can be doing in these mirrors. <clears throat> and I'm just going to hit this again. Play a land. Hey, Archmage, how you doing? Our hand's okay. All right, get out of that one. I'm at BWI. Oh, you're in Baltimore? Oh, man, that's awesome. What are you doing in Baltimore there, Archmage? Or Sam? Sam. Your family in the area? Nice. So in the mirror, bring these in. Bring these in. Cut these, cut the settle, and one lava coil. That is what I like to do. Headed back to the cold wasteland. That is Rochester, yes. Yep, I know all about upstate New York. Did you have a good holiday, Archmage? I was very surprised we won that game. Like our opponent got such a big mana advantage that I was just, I, I didn't think that we were going to win that one. Yeah, we're going to keep this. It's not great, but it's got lands. And, you know, the first thing we got to do, the easiest way to lose is just to not hit lands here. And that's a good, good spell to hit. We have an answer to like a Niv or their own Crackling Drake. All right, we didn't need to hit the second one. Second answer is not a very good draw. All right, get my hero. We got. What do you? What do we pause in here? My end step four. All right. It's not a decent draw. My opponent's just blue red control over there. We're looking for counter spells at this point. We're gonna hit our land drops fine. This is very good. But I think I'm going to put it on the bottom. We have another one. And the gate is what we are looking for. Ixalan's binding is is like the nut in the matchup though. Like you can you can theoretically lock them out because you've got two. You can take Niv and Teferi. We're not gonna jam this thing, we're just gonna pass. I think I would have expansioned that had I had one because we just want to make sure we hit our we don't fall behind on land drops. Um 
So we're actually just going to wait. We're going to hit this right now. If they fight over it, we jam to ferry, which they didn't, which is good on them. All right, we hit our land drop, which is muy importante. It might have been worth waiting one turn and just having the 1-1 one, one lay around and hitting it with a lava coil because we could just be like a little soft to a niv. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Not going to play the Drake. I should have played the Drake because even if the Teferi... At this point, even if the Teferi resolves, they likely would have had to tuck it, and then we could have played our own Teferi. And like, if you're tucking a Crackling Drake, that's fine. Heal through this turn. So yeah, now I think I'm just gonna. Oh no, I've only got two blue sources. Never mind. Never mind, we're not going to do that. Yeah, I wish I was hitting these with the old expansion. Alright, let us ionize this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we can win a fight over Teferi. Providing my opponent. Oh. All right, so now we negate here. We jam our own Teferi. And then we are the one with the hero. Best thing we can hit is like an expansion or a counter spell here. That's another that's a pretty solid one to get as well. We will have to hit a blue source, but now my opponent might have been baiting me into like an Ixalan finding. Which if they set that up, then good on them. Four. Jeez. All right. Down goes to Ferry. That was not good. The fact that that thing just resolved. All right. Well, let me get this down here. Hope like hell that we don't get whacked with an Ixalan's binding. Because we just we do not have nearly as much going on as my opponent does. Alright, that's that's not bad. But again, we are. We, if we have, one, if we can hit one more blue source. Now, actually, we have enough blue sources to do what we want. 
All right, correct and direct from our opponent. So I'll start off with my own Drake. Because I don't have any way to protect this to fairy. Now I just want to play this and tuck it. Tucking these is kind of greedy, but this is likely the best shot I'll get at a Teferi anytime soon. <clears throat> oh, no, okay, it's just an opt. All right. I thought they were tapping to Spell Pierce. So they just drew into their what they're looking for. The Drake. Okay, there it is. I think I'm going to start off with this Lava Coil, because I, I think this is going to get countered. All right, now, on my end step, I'll hit this thing for seven. They put a card on top. Now we are just slinging it back and forth. Okay, one, two. Do I want to do it for seven or do I want to give myself a chance to hit like a negate? I probably want to give myself a chance to hit a negate. Because I'm just going to have to discard. That's six, which will leave me seven cards. Now nah, I think we're gonna go all the ammo we need. So let's just get this thing out of here. And I will ditch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Such an insight. I want to keep hitting my land drops. All right, opponent plays it. Opponent gets an Ed in play. The counter's in sight. All right, they draw three cards and they shoot my Teferi. That is okay because we are going to binding this Nev. And that is just exactly what we're looking for here. Play our land. Oh, I don't have to tap any blue mana. Because I'm a little short on that. Because getting this Niv under a binding is really important. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll just negate back. Now I have two counter spells for a Teferi. Again, I'm not going to play anything. We just want to hit a. We just want to protect this binding, basically. Running out of time. If there's gonna be a third game, it's it's 
could be difficult. I think that's okay, because we're going to have a Crackling Drake to block it. I just don't want to get... Uh, or if we find our own nib, we'll just mow this thing over. I just want to do whatever I can do to keep this Ixlon's Binding here, or keep a Teferi off the, off the battlefield. My opponent's only used one Teferi also, so there's likely three more hanging out in these 21 plus 7 cards. So if they have like Teferi plus double negate, they can win a fight. Alright, I'm going to opt. All right, we found a nib, sweet. So now we can play nib three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I didn't leave up enough blue mana. No, I did. Now we need two. They put a card on the bottom. I could kill this boss right now, but then I don't have any counter spells up. I am going to put it into play untapped, though, just so that I have the option to flash this back all right now we're just gonna oh I should have shot this thing that was so stupid that was very dumb because I'm just gonna counter this and this is still a problem well now I'm gonna flash this back Because I can't beat double counter spell anyways. I will ditch this. Search for his canta. I should have just shot this one. Um, I think I'm just going to counter this. It draws me another card. I don't think I played this last turn very well. Oh, did I not cheat this twice? What is going on here? Alright, where is this going? That's going right there. Okay, so I can send this one up here. This dies. All right, I don't need to land. I might need the Justice Strike because they might play a Teferi. Hit this, yeah. Okay. An expansion deals eight nine to me. Lira is interesting.
All right, first things first, we're going to get this off the battlefield. <clears throat> I should win this one, this fight too. Okay. Now let's play some drakes. So we can draw some cards. Because I don't have very many other ways to deal with this Lyra. That is one as well. They likely would have fought over this with a counter spell, I think. Though I could just wait and play another one of these. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play one more of these. Save the the binding for when I can use counter spell back up. Okay, one down. So we're likely, I think we're going to see a nib from my opponent here because that just like makes sense. Okay, ping one. Play their own Drake. Sorry I'm not interacting with the chat as much as this. A bit tough to keep up with. We might be in trouble. I don't think there's any like might be in trouble unless we hit like a Teferi right now. We have one. We have two Teferis left in our last 18 cards. Get this. So I have to counter this because if this resolves and they have an opt, then I could they, he could just kill my creature. I don't actually think they're going to deck, we're going to deck each other. <clears throat> oh gosh. Why should we let the first trigger resolve? Hit this. What do we have left in our deck to win? We're going to try to expansion me out of this game. Get 
That's a good one. All right, so we trade here. Oh, that's the game. Because now I have to go up with my Teferi. See where he put the da okay. See where he put the damage. Okay. So now we have to hit like I don't even know. My opponent has such a high life total. I'm not sure what we can hit. We can't. All right. <clears throat> now I have to win a mirror in six and a half minutes. Win a mirror game though. This is going to be awful. All right, there's probably going to be less chatting going on with this one then, but this is just going to be awful. I have to actually win this <coughs> win this match within time. We're just going to keep it. We're going to be on the play so we can counter the Legion Loyalists, the Legion War Bosses, War Bosses. Yeah. Only guys was legal. I would like to play first. Uh, this hand is okay. We need lands where we have all the interaction we want. All right, nice. Um, not going to jam. All right, now I need a land. That is not a land. That is a land. I might just negate. Yeah, I think I'm going to negate one of these. We have a lot of counter spells. So let's just use them while we might be able to like frustrate our opponent a little bit. Not going to counter this, not going to counter the flashback either. They ditch the land. I'm jealous. Now, if our opponent plays a Niv, then we get to hit it back with Teferi, but that wasn't likely to happen. Put on the bottom. Now we only have one counter spell for an opposing Teferi, which isn't good.
now I got to, oh, this is not going well. I wish I discard one of these drakes. Jeez. I don't know if it was right to discard that or the Drake or not there. All right. I could just play my own nib right here. One, two, three, four. But then, like, then we're just cold to a Teferi. We just have to hold off and hit land drops, basically. All right. Well, that's a way to help hit land drops later. I'm going to ditch this crackling drake here. Okay. All right. Just the land go. Um, I kind of just want to counter this so I don't have to discard it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I miscounted my mana. Miscounted my mana. Yeah, now, like, because I miscounted, I thought I had three and three. Now this Teferi is going to resolve. Now I'm in trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they have two counter spells. I could be in trouble, but they've only got one. Then doing okay. No, they had another one. At least it was an expansion. And again, I, I just messed up with my math here, trying to play quickly. And they kept the card on top, so it's likely something sweet like a Niv or another counter spell. All right, it's just a Drake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, well, that's bad. I just have all sorts of problems here. Well, that can help with one of the issues. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I guess I'm just going to try to upkeep um, Explosion, this Crackling Drake. Realizing this is likely a pipe dream. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how. I, I'd like to go back and watch that second game again. Because I, I think that I had that second game won. And I just let it go somewhere. I think. And I, I punted this third game. Because I was trying to play quickly. All right, let's jump in for another one.
Yeah, that sucks. But I took too long. I had a little hiccup with my stream, and then I took, I just wasn't playing quick enough, and my chess clock got me. Which is fair. You gotta, you gotta be, able, gotta manage the clock. Hope everyone in the chat's having a good night. I appreciate everybody for hanging out. I was really surprised I won game one of that match. Like I didn't think that I was going the way that one was going, I did not think I was gonna win that one. Alright, join match. All right, I would like to play first. This hand's kind of slow. Needs to hit like two lands to work, but if I hit two lands, I'm in good shape. Because it's just going to get me to Drake. Definitely the nice part of these crackling drakes is they definitely help smooth you out towards the mid game. Well, we're gonna need to hit those lands quickly. We're gonna beat the mono red menace. Uh, yield for this turn. Hit a land, I'm gonna kill this Steamkin. I think right now before it gets out of control. Well now we're gonna play this to help us find lands. Oh man. <clears throat> Guess we kept two lands on the play. Maybe I'm supposed to mulligan that. Now we need like land and Clarion really to get us going. Taking Five, but at least it'll only be two next turn or four. Land. We gotta ditch it. We need lands. All right. Do this now before they can put counters on it. We get a land here. We're kind of in it. I would take a Deafening Clarion. I would miss my land drop here for a Deafening Clarion. No. But I'm going to block, even if they go attack with a Chain Whirler, just the Chain Whirler, I'm going to block it. Because uh, five me. All right, we're dead. What a tilt. My hand was a little sketchy against an aggro deck, I guess. Maybe just keeping two lands on the play isn't good. Maybe I'm supposed to keep, like, not supposed to, just supposed to throw those back. I should restart Moto also. Well, likely I've been playing it all day, so. Restarted it a couple times, but. Okay, so take out. I like to bring in all the stuff. They can interact early. Uh, I don't like all these nibs. I usually cut some number of ionized too, as the negates are fine. Yeah, I think this is what I'm going to do. This is more of just like a survive, survive, sur like survive, play less top end, just make it. <coughs> Play first. We got three lands and a removal spell, and a way to deal with Frenzy or Flame of Geld. 
man, it is nice hitting this, hitting a flame like hell with this after the first chapter. Okay, binding's also decent. Yep, Pyromancer gets in there. All right, and we're gonna be able to curve into multiple crackling drakes. I'm just gonna trade with this thing. Just keep my life total high against the Banefire deck. I think it's much easier playing against mono red than like mono white. Treasure map makes things a little scary, but we'll be able to deal with it. Hey, Teddy. Play the wall. Ooh, lava coil. You don't say. Play another one of these. We have a Shalai, which is nice. The Shalai won't get whacked by, uh, right, so we don't get whacked by Banefire. Though I'm going to be killing this next turn with the Invoke the Divine for sure. We're not going to let him untap with that. I don't think I'm going to block because I'm going to be able to threaten to trade with it next turn. Yeah, we're ahead here. Play this, gain our life. I actually don't think I'm going to block the Chain Whirler. Because I can just play the Shalai next turn. And my opponent has to deal with that before they can deal with my Drake. And I should have thought about that and sent in. And I just attacked with it. And then just opted twice. Gotten in for three points. Uh, one, two, three. We don't need any more lands. All right. Clarion is nice. One, two, three. Okay, so we can have the Shalai and the gate next turn. And I'm going to use this Crackling Drake as a blocker. Yeah, we're in good shape now, but we just have to make sure we can turn the corner. The problem is we're going to lose one of our creatures here when we go to turn the corner because they're going to firebrand. All right, that's good. Gonna take this Clarion Life Link, wipe the board, have negate. I could also just hit this as well. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three. No, I can't do that. They can't flip that yet. So they can flip it next turn. They're also not gonna bane fire me. Anytime soon. So this is going to hit here. We'll trade these. We'll get in for four point life swing. 
hopefully they try to hit me with like a, a shock here and we get to counter it, but it doesn't look like they're going to. Now do we just want to Ixalan's binding this? The problem is we're just going to lose to a Frenzy if we do that, I think, so we're just not going to. I just want to be able to cover a Frenzy. I mean, they might have to tap out to do it, but no, this will be gone. Um, gates. Don't kill my only way to win currently. <clears throat> I like this deck quite a bit. It's not like super controlly. Like it, it does sort of play that route, but you also just jam like Drake's Teferi and Niv. Like the deck, the deck definitely likes to jam. All right, can deal with that. If they go to kill the egg, then we'll just, I guess we can't, we can't kill the egg with Justice Strike, unfortunately. Okay, Wizards Lightning with Phoenix. Okay. That's actually not awful because we crack in here for five and then we go and shoot the Phoenix again next turn and then we crack in for six. So if they don't kill the Drake, then we've got them. If they kill my Drake, I'm in trouble. Which this looks like they're killing my Drake. Yeah, this is definitely a Bane Fire. But why would they tap this much? Why would they Bane Fire for seven? They must have double Bane Fire. Why would they bane fire for five? When you can just bane fire for four and then sack a treasure? Rut row. Do they have another bane fire? One, two. Experimental Frenzy, God. God, no. Treasure map. Well, they can scry away a card they don't want. Um. Hope I hit. A way to deal with this. All right, well. All right, so we've got two Lyras. We've got two Lyras, um, a Teferi. We've got a couple Drakes. So we're in trouble, but we're not out of it. They shocked me, okay. Scry a card to the bottom. Come on, Brick. Please. Wow. Oh. oh, yeah. No, we're in trouble. 
There's no way around it. Very surprised to have lost this match. And there's the bane fire. Man. Man, we started this league out 2 0. Now we're going for the 3 2. That is sad. I have to restart Moto here. Moto's tweaking out on me. Yeah. So let's restart Moto here for a second. <clears throat> that is a tough state of affairs. It's difficult to say whether I would have won that match, that Jeskai mirror. Um, yeah, to, if, it was difficult to say if I'd have won that Jeskai mirror if I would have like not been strapped for time. And part of the reason I was strapped for time is I had some stream difficulties. <clears throat> I'll be right back. And then if there was a way to maneuver that uh, to maneuver that mono red game to be different, I don't know. So two two uh, discouraging losses. All right, play league match. <clears throat> Something I have noticed with this deck, this is the 60th card in the main deck. I don't know what this should be. I kind of wanted another way to kill Carnage Tyrant, but Settles also like has its problems. Um, I've noticed that with a lot of black-green ticking up, the Crackling Drakes aren't as great as... I'm smart, Rob. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear your negativity. <clears throat> All right, playing against another mono red deck. It appears. So we're just going to play this tapped. Game plan is to make it to Nev. These are computer glasses, Rob. They protect my my big blue eyes. All right. All right. I think I'm going to end up killing this because this thing is going to grow and deal us more damage. <clears throat> then I'll ionize something. I would like to be able to save this opt for like an immediate thing off of my Niv, but I have to make it to turn seven in order to have that be <clears throat> a realistic thing. They must have land drop. Gonna counter anything basically. But Stop me from drafting you are in Modern Cube. <laughs> it's a Splinter Twin, man. I'm just gonna untap. All right, that's a good one. 
these drakes are really nice in the aggro matchup. So just the fact that they block or they demand two cards. Twin won't be in the modern cube. You are right. No, you are right. It used to be in the... There, there's a former modern cube that used to be in there. <clears throat> Jeez. Down 10. All right, we have a game plan. We just have to make it there. Definitely just blocking. They can't kill it with a chain whirler. All right, that's shock. That's fine. We're getting two. I kind of want to play just play to fairy and tuck this. Like we're getting a little, a little dangerous with our life total, but <coughs> I will gladly trade this to fairy for a burn spell. Here. Trade it for a chain whirler doesn't feel great. Red, white, blue, red. And the pyromancer isn't coming yet. Pyromancer should be the next draw, so hopefully we get something. We negate something. Okay. What a scumbag. Trying to catch me on the F6. Just want to be like, nice try, dude. So now we're good, I think, because the next card coming is the Pyromancer. So do I want to counter that? Puts me a three. I've got the next spell covered, and it eats the Pyromancer. Yeah, I'm just going to get this Niv in here. This is a great, this Drake's a great draw. Blue, red, or red, white, one, one. Now we should be good. You just gotta believe in Niv. If you believe in Niv, good things will happen. So if I go play this, counter it, ping them twice, grow this twice, I'm still short. But I think that just locks them out because we have their next draw step covered. Let's say just main deck bane fires, which would be savage. <clears throat> All right, scooped it up. Nice. Man, my computer is still running a little slow. So we're just bringing all the white things right here. Bring these in. We cut search. Cut insight. Cut this. Get rid of two ionizes, and then I shave one of each of these. And then we go. Appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out. A little bit of a short stream. 
a late stream night, but get this league in. Might play one more, depending on how this goes. This is like, if I lose these NAS two, I might just salt off and go to bed. And we'll play Death Shadow tomorrow morning. All right, we have a Clarion, so I think we're going to keep. Doesn't matter which land we lead on, like they all, they all turn on our hand. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Rob. You're a real supportive person. I appreciate having you around here. Yeah, play this tapped. We will. EOT, end of their turn opt. I think if they don't commit to the board, I'm just going to hold up a counter spell. Am I getting whacked for 12 with burn spells here? All right, we're getting whacked with a wizard risk factor. You don't say. I will take four. All right, put on top. See, now I feel I have to just go like counter spell into Drake, into Clarion. There's a chance that that's a pipe dream. <clears throat> I didn't think about this a lot. I probably should have just Clarion if their whole turn is just me taking four. Because now they can just like end of my turn do it. If they do it at the end of my turn, I probably just like. I think I maybe just let them draw four cards. Well, I'm definitely going to let them draw four cards now. Try a Shadowlith with Grixis, just Goyf. I have, an, uh, I have the SCG. Next week, I ain't trying anything super. We dead on five. <clears throat> I guess I had to wrath the board. <clears throat> I should have known that I would have to wrath the board in order to win there. Maybe I should just let them draw four cards, like with with an with like. Inevitability that I got. Like maybe that's just like just just draw cards. Like I'll be able to handle you. Dude, the mana base also, and those traverse shadow decks, Teddy, those mana bases were as long as you didn't play a forest, those mana bases were great. Like the even the, the the five color one was a little sketchy, but if you played four colors and you just played black, black fetch lands, those though that mana base was great until Field of Ruin came out. When you only had one basic, Field of Ruin really screwed you. But I used to just play four catacombs, four Myers, four deltas, and then played uh Blood Crypt. Um, I always played Blood Crypt. Two Overgrown Tombs. And in like one of my Black Splash. 
and then which other which other green shock land I had more color of. Like if I had more red than blue, I played Stomping Ground. If I had a lot of blue and not a lot of red, then I played Breeding Pool. And then my other shock land would either be Watery Grave or Godless Shrine. Uh, yeah, this hand's got two removal spells. The settle's not going to do well with the Banefire aspect of their deck. <clears throat> but yeah, the mana bases in those deck, in that deck was surprisingly pretty good until Field of Ruin came. So a mountain, this mountain turns on both of our lands regardless. And I'm more likely to seal away on two. So let's just play this. Show a little weakness. I'm pretty down for just seal away this and trying to set up something in this Crackling Drake where I can gain life with this Clarion. <clears throat> now I'm going to take one point. Well, if he's not going to, they're not going to put anything else on the board. Then I'm just going to seal away this, play my Sulfur Falls, so that I can hopefully play my Drake on two, on three. I mean, on four. Excuse me. Hit a Drake for next turn. Steam Cannon. This thing's an Elemental. Now I'm just going to kill this, save myself two life, grow the drake if I hit another land. Which I did, but I'm just going to, we're going high risk, high reward. They need a fight with fire to kill this, or two spells. Or the game's just over. Yep, yeah, all right. You had the fight with fire. Checks out. Now, hopefully our opponent commits to the board or makes it so like they tap their mana so they can't kill this drake. I guess I could just give my opponent lifelink too. There's not one card that could do this. So yeah, let's just creatures I control gain lifelink. I will do this the hard way. What is your last card, opponent? Now I want to clarion on with both modes. I 
And if they kill my Drake, I guess they kill my Drake. Can I do better than that? This gains me three. Then they're hellbent at 11. I'm at 11 if they kill this thing. And I've got three pieces of interaction. Okay. We should be good now. I'd like to draw a backup threat as we're going to need more resources than we're just, like we have all the answers. We just need to make sure we have a way to win. Opponents kind of flooding out, which is tough. Peck away three points at a time. And in a pinch, we can divine our own seal away. Wizards like me. I think Wizards Lightning and Me is going to be a tough sell. I think my opponent's at the fork in the road. They're like, do I bane fire this thing on my opponent? All right, come on, don't do this again to me, deck. Don't do this to me, deck. Gonna just respond to the first thing they do and get rid of it. <clears throat> well, we got two. We have two angels. We have three drakes. We have three teferis. We have two nibs. We have a lot of solid hits. Gosh, don't do this to me, deck. Maybe I over sideboard and I just get too grindy. I guess I could have binding debt. Maybe that was better. All right. And again, if they use two cards to get this off the board, then that's two burn spells that aren't going at my head. Which, they're going to send these burn spells at my head anyways. Dire Fleet Daredevil for Justice Strike. I still gain a life. <clears throat> which is, you know... Nice, not great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this with a seal away, and I think I'm gonna Ixalan binding this Dire Fleet Daredevil because we have two, and I don't want them to uh, I don't want them to like flashback and invoke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, let's do this first. All right, now we'll just go like this. And we should be all set now. 
Just drawing two cards a turn will be good. Definitely going up. Let's see if we can find a counter spell. Even though the Drake is, is just as good. Blue, red. We found a counter spell. So I would be I don't think we can lose from here, but I have been wrong before. This factor. I'm just going to give them cards. Like, just keep my life total high. Like, so many of their cards are just not, not very good at the moment. I just don't want to get cheesed out by a bane fire. <clears throat> Lightning strike going at at Teferi. Okay. Well, they're out of mana. Yeah, they're actually out of mana. I'm just gonna let this go. And then I'm not binding it. Is that three? I just I opt just to strike this, negate it. Put on the bottom. Go here, hold priority. Negate my own spell. Then nine them. It's a sad way to go over the league after starting out uh, starting out so well, but such is life. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're going to do one more league tonight. And with a 3-2, but we'll jump in here for one more. <clears throat> 